Hello, good morning, welcome. I welcome you from this amazing, beautiful place. Tonight, before we reach Konya, we slept here. And as I said before on the video, the hospitality of the Turkish people is incredible. So this place you see behind me is a house just waiting for us on the top of a mountain. I put a little video in here now, you can see the panoramic view. Unfortunately, I can't record this video from the top of the mountain because of the wind. The door of the house was open. And we could just take whatever we needed. There was a paper hanging in the house saying, help yourself with everything you need. And there was food waiting there for us. And was the first time we were cooking something in months now. <laughs> so it's quite exciting to be here on this mountain. It feels like a really special place, like in the house there are like drums and um, spiritual instruments. And you see people come here to practice and um, obviously also to um, stay in silence. And behind those mountains there is Konya, just two days walking ahead from us. It's very exciting after 40 days reaching Rumi's place. And I invite you now for a embodied yoga practice. So if you can sit up just however you want, like it could be like one leg is stretched out and the other is bent. You want to be in contact with your right foot. So with the hands on your foot, with the inhalation, you're feeling your right foot. And with the exhalation, you're kind of leaning into your right foot and giving it a nourishing hold, a deep contact. With the inhalation, you're Hands become soft again on the foot. And with the exhalation, you give your foot a little massage. And with the inhalation, again, releasing, like feeling the breath in all your cells, expanding, widening. And on the exhalation, Pressing a little bit your right foot, however that feels comfortable and right for you. And keep breathing like this, staying in contact with your hands, with your right foot, with your body, your breath. And then you can go over to like, let your thumbs explore your foot and let your foot receive the touch of your thumbs. So your thumbs can walk and dance on your right foot wherever that feels nice for you. And if you like, you can sigh and make sounds. Just make sure you're really comfortable. And just to let you know, like all my instructions are kind of 
invitations for you and you just see what you want to follow, what's doing good for you this morning. So coming to your toes, you could bring your big toe between your index finger and your thumb and kind of massage, us from, massage it from the bottom up. Squeeze a little bit and then go to the toe next. And then to the middle toe. And to the fourth toe. And the small tiny toe and just let go of your right foot and bringing your hands just wherever they feel comfortable tuning with your attention into your right foot then changing your legs maybe you're sitting cross leg maybe one leg a stretch out however feels comfortable for you and then again you just feel your feet with your hands and allow your feet to feel your hands with the inhalation feeling and expanding around your body in your body in your cells with the exhalation, leaning forward into your left foot. With the inhalation, releasing the contact a little bit. And on the exhalation, again, giving a gentle massage, a gentle, firm hold to your left foot. And doing that in your own pace, really tuning in really tuning in. Yesterday I read in the Sufi trail guidebook which we are carrying with us in our backpack um, quote from Eckhart Tolle and he said something like there are many steps you can make in the outside but there's only one step you can do in the inside and that's now this step this very step so wherever you are on the outside with your body during this class now like make sure you are inside here and now this very moment so you can now allow your thumbs to move around your foot giving it a nice massage my foot surely has suffered a little bit from walking now almost 800 kilometers I'm walking this path with my children and my husband the kids are well the boy just turned nine last week and the girls 14 and they are just doing so amazing like they're running up and down the mountains <laughs> and then you can take your big toe between your right index finger and your right thumb and massage your toe from bottom upwards and take the toe next to the big one and then the one in the middle And the one next to it.
And if you want, you can sigh, make sounds, allowing the breath to move freely through your body. And then coming to your little toe. And then just bringing your hands wherever they want to rest now, sensing into your left foot. And from here, you can come to a cross-legged position. Sit a little bit higher if you want to. Choose any cross-legged position. And you can bring your fingers together in front of your chest. And with your inhalation, you're kind of moving your arms through the air away from you. And with the exhalation, you're bringing your hands close to your chest. And with the inhalation, you're moving your arms through the air upwards, allowing your shoulders to stay down. And with the exhalation, you bring your hands at the back of your head, the elbows open. And inhale, bringing your arms up again. And exhale, your hands in front of your chest. Inhale moving your arms through the air exhale bringing your hands back to your chest dropping down the left hand into the ground becoming really heavy so everything is dropping down through the pelvis through the left hand so the right arm can move freely up and you can move your right arm however it feels comfortable for you Staying connected with your right arm to your, what is it in English, the diaphragm. So you're not pulling away the arm, but stays tuned inwards. The right hand is in contact with the right shoulder. The right shoulder is in contact with the right hip, which is heavy on the ground. And you can move your arm freely, however you want to move it. maybe your head starts moving with your arm and another invitation i can give you is with the exhalation letting your arm unfold the right arm and then inhale here becoming heavy and on the next exhalation inviting the spine to twist a bit and bringing the right hand under your left left hand heavy in the pelvis inhale here and with the exhalation unfolding the right arm wherever you want to have it and then inhale here feeling the body expanding and exhale bringing the right hand under your left hand and Coming up again, the center, relaxing your arms wherever they want to rest, allowing the shoulders to roll down, allowing the lower back to roll down, allowing the jaw to relax and the forehead. And from there, you bring the right hand next to you and becoming really heavy, so every retention you feel you can allow it to flow down through your pelvis, through your right hand. Inhale. And with the exhalation, the left arm is unfolding. And you can start playing with your left arm. Maybe you're playing with your ribs, like to move your body. And you make sure the left arm is not pulled out away from you but it's tuned inside there's a connection from the arm over the diaphragm to the pelvis 
and then if that feels good for you you inhale here and on the exhalation you're moving your spine feel how the spine is moving feel the vertebra bringing the left hand under the right hand inhale here and with the exhalation again raising up your left arm it's an unfolding of the arm inhale becoming heavy and exhale again rolling your spine to the side and the left hand goes under the right hand and from there sit up and bring your hands on your face Feeling this moment, this contact with yourself. Feeling the breath under your hands, the life under your hands. And then you can start um, bringing, how do you say, skin between index finger and thumb. And you kind of pull away the skin and you can twist it and hold it a moment. And then let go of it and like that you can move through your whole face so you can take skin away like pull it a bit twist it hold it the fascia here will be so happy if you do that and release it and like that move a bit through your whole face And you can bring your eyebrows between your thumbs and your index finger and kind of massage your eyebrows from inside to outside. And then also like massage a bit your forehead Squeeze the skin here a bit. And you can kind of bring your fingertips on your forehead and on your scalp and your cheeks and your chin, wherever you want to have them and give your face like a nice, don't know how to say, jumping up and down of the fingers on your head mm, sigh if you want ah. mm. and then release your arms tuning into your head and with this feeling in your head lay down on your mat over all this come over the side down to your mat so it's healthy for your bed feet full feet on the ground knees up tuning into your face tuning into your head With every exhalation, you can drop down more towards the ground. Allowing the arms to rest freely next to your body and the legs are a little bit more than hip wide apart. And then the right legs become, leg becomes heavy and is rolling to the right and it's inviting the left leg to come with it. And then the head can give itself a little massage 
on the skin of the head and turn left just as much as it feels comfortable for you and breathing here and with every exhalation dropping down into the space behind your body into the space behind your head and your chest and your pelvis and your legs. And then imagine that the pelvic floor, which can roll up a little bit, is pulling up your left leg again and the right leg and bringing back your head towards the center while then slowly and heavily the left leg drops down to the left side and the right leg follows and then you're rolling your head to the right and back to the back of the head a bit And just make sure how can you enter into the space behind your back even a little bit more. It's about letting go, dropping down. And then the pelvic floor can roll up a bit and lifting up your right leg and your left leg, the head rolls in the center, rolling your pelvic floor up and inward so everything, your legs and your arms can gather in your center, becoming small here. And Inhale, raising up your arms and your legs through the space, through the air. And with the exhalation, you can imagine that the solar plexus is kind of calling your legs and your arms inward again. And with the inhalation, you're expanding arms and legs, however you want to do that. Like you can open your legs to the side. You can just move them freely around. With the inhalation, you always have like an expanding expansion. And the exhalation goes in again back to the solar plexus, to your belly button and the space above. So if you don't know where the solar plexus is, you can tune between be belly button and beginning of your ribs in this place. So you can keep doing however your body wants to be moved now with the inhalation, expanding. And with the exhalation, coming inward this movement we need so much in our life like going out being there with the world in the world and tuning inwards and from there you could and i just want to remember yourself uh, you if you feel comfortable somewhere and you're exploring something just stay there as long as you you are exploring. The invitation is to bring your feet to the ground and really kind of tune into your feet and the feet are moving down towards the soil, towards the earth. You're raising up your pelvis and your arms. You're expanding here and again the arms can move however they want to be moved on the inhalation. 
And on the exhalation, you can gently roll your pelvic floor in a bit and bring vertebra by vertebra back to the floor. With the inhalation, you're dropping down your knees through your calves into your feet and allowing the pelvis to raise up. The pelvis wants to explore the space above and it's taking each vertebra. The arms can expand wherever they want to be. With the exhalation, the pelvic floor rolls in a bit and vertebra by vertebra you can roll down again. Allowing the arms to move freely and with the inhalation, the, what is this? Da, 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 da. Don't know, the front of your hips are kind of interested in the front of your thighs and your knees and the knees are dropping down in the feet which are so connected to the earth. So the pelvis rises up taking each vertebra and when you're up here you can start moving your body however it wants to be moved and an invitation is a suggestion is to lift up your feet and walk on your mat and really walk into your feet and inhabit your feet and doing this you could move your pelvis your arms could just stay up really classic however you want to do it mm, you can stretch your body holding your hands above your head and gently with your pelvic floor rolling inwards and rolling down vertebra by vertebra maybe keeping the arms next to your ears and then bringing your hands on the back of your head and holding your head with your arms so the elbows are going up And just really letting go here, allowing your legs to release, to become soft, to melt into the ground. And then very, very slowly allowing the pelvic floor to roll inwards a little bit and roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra. And this is not about your belly, it's about your spine. And with the inhalation, vertebra by vertebra, coming down again to the ground. So the head can be really heavy, it's resting in your hands. It's protected by your arms. With the exhalation, the pelvic floor can roll in a little bit and very, very slowly you're rolling up your spine, feeling the vertebras expanding in the back of your body. And with the inhalation, very gentle, rolling down again. When you're down with your head, you could open your arms. So the elbows are pointing outside. And on the exhalation, again, bringing the elbows up, protecting your head, holding your head, being close to yourself, rolling up. And on the inhalation, again, rolling down and opening your elbows. And you can do that much slower than I offer it to you here, or you can do it a little, little bit faster, just really staying with your breath. I would really recommend to go for the slow motion. And when you're
it down again. You can rest the right arm next to your body, wherever it wants to be rested. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, gathering in your core, in your center, like bringing the pelvic floor up a bit and very gently moving the spine a little bit up and to the right. And the right knee is going towards your left elbow. So that they don't have to meet. It's not like having to go anywhere. It's just about the movement, the staying close to yourself. With the inhalation, slowly you're opening the spine again into the center and bringing the right knee back from you. You can still keep the right foot lifted up. And with the exhalation, the pelvic floor rolls in and the spine, upper spine, is moving up and towards the right. So the right left elbow it's going to the right knee and maybe they're meeting and on the inhalation opening again and on the exhalation left elbow and right knee are gathering together <laughs> And then release and relax your left arm, bringing the right hand on your left, oh, your right hand on your head. And then inhale here and exhale, gathering in the center near your solar plexus and rolling up your spine with your right elbow bringing the left knee close to your right elbow. And with the inhalation still being centered in your body, slowly bringing back the head towards the ground and bringing the left knee a bit away from you. And on your next exhalation, feeling how everything comes together in your belly, in your diaphragm, in your pelvis. And with the inhalation, opening again. And exhalation, bringing the right elbow to your left knee through Twisting your spine a bit. And then release back on the ground. Stretch out your legs if you like. Relaxing your arms next to your body. Resting in a posture we can call Shavasana. Allowing the forehead to become soft and the jaw to become soft. And with the inhalation, you can move your toes and your fingers a little bit. Give a little bit of expansion here. And with the exhalation, relaxing toes and fingers. A really really subtle movement while you're just resting on the ground And resting in your feet and hands you can roll your head gently to the left 
tuning into the back of your head, resting in the back of your head. And very slowly giving your head a massage, feeling the contact to the ground with the back of your head, rolling your head to the right. Tuning a bit in the back of your head. Coming back to the center, gathering inwards and start moving your body to come up to a table position. And you can do that however you want to do it. And I invite you while you're moving your body to stay in contact with the earth, with the space around you and become a bit creative so become a bit loose of your normal habits of coming from laying to sitting but what about moving your body a bit on your mat while you're doing so like can that be a massage even to your feet when you're crawling on your mat can that be an opening in your hip can that be maybe coming up and coming down, feeling your muscles. So really taking this moment, this minute to open your body. Maybe you want to shake your body, like just really doing however your body wants to be moved. And it's really, really helpful not to look at the screen now for this moment you're doing that, but just to really allowing your own movement to come through. Ah, which is, can be so difficult. And we are so used to do whatever we are told. Mm, making sounds, sighing, whatever's doing good for you. <clears throat> Mm. And then, if you're still enjoying, keep doing so. Otherwise, we come into all fours. I think that's what's called table position in English. I'm not quite sure. Vier Füßler stand in German. The knees are under your pelvis. The hands are under your shoulders. And you can move your tailbone however it wants to be moved and just listen to the spine wherever it wants to go. So no rules here, just the rule to be free in your tailbone. So maybe you just want to wiggle your tailbone from left to right. Maybe you want to do a little circles here. And the rest of the spine can move freely. From here, you can bring your right knee a little bit more forward and the left foot next to your right knee. And keeping your toes on the ground, I hope you can see it like they're bent. And inhale, and with the exhalation, leaning back on your right foot, bringing the left heel down towards the ground. And with the inhalation, gently coming up and you feel moving your body through the air. The space around you is with you. And with the exhalation, sitting back, on your right heel or as far as you can go back to bring the left heel as far back as it's okay for you like you really want to create freedom in your body and don't strain your body please and come up again 
and this time you can bend your right toes here and then back and again sit back on your right heel bringing the left heel down towards the floor and inhale moving your body through space with your inner space in the outer space and exhale coming back and then inhale bringing your shoulders again over your hands and turning your left knee out so the toes are pointing now, now to the left side the heel is still up right toes are still bent inhale and with the exhalation coming back on your right heel and feeling what's going on in your left foot in your left toes and with the inhalation come up again shoulders above your hands and on the inhalation sorry that's the exhalation but you do it hopefully anyway how it feels comfortable for you sitting on your right heel having the left heel up left knee outwards and then coming back And one more time, bringing your bottom on your right heel or in the direction of the right heel. Mm -hmm. And coming up again, straightening out your left leg, the left heel uh, is pointing backwards. You can just move through your left heel here with the space around you and your inner space. And then inhale, rising up your right arm and your left leg and the right foot becomes long again. And exhale, bringing the left knee and the right elbow together, becoming round. And inhale, moving your right arm through the air, moving your left leg through the air. And exhale. Feel how the belly is supporting your left leg and your right elbow to come together. And inhale, opening again. and exhale becoming round and bringing the right hand under your right shoulder the left knee under your left shoulder bringing the left shoulder through your left arm in your left hand inhale exhale rising up your right arm and the pelvis is heavy, especially the right side of the pelvis. Inhale here. And with the exhalation, twisting your spine and the right arm goes under the left arm until the right shoulder is on the floor. Inhale, dropping down towards the ground. And with the exhalation, raising up your right arm again inhale here and exhale twisting your spine tuning into your spine while you bring the right arm under your left hand inhale and exhale, bringing your right hand under your right shoulder. And now we're going to do the other side. So maybe to, you can see me a little bit more, turn around. Bring the left knee a little bit forward. Sorry, if you want to shake your hands for a moment, because it's quite a lot on your hands, right? Or circle your uh, wrists, you can do so and coming back on all fours 
you bring the left knee a little bit closer to your left hand like five centimeters maybe and the right toes are standing next to your left knee the right heel is up inhale feeling your body expanding feeling the space around your body and exhale dropping down your right heel towards the ground sitting back And inhale, you feel moving your body through the air. And exhale, coming back again. And inhale, coming up. And you can now bring your left heel up more up and the left toes bent on the ground and sit back allowing the right heel to sink and on the inhalation glide your body slide your body through the air and on the exhalation Again, bringing your right heel towards the ground. And then coming up again. Bending your right knee out. Um, to, how you say? You bring your right knee to the outside. The right heel is up, toes on the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back, feeling what's going on in your right toes. And inhale, coming up. And exhale, coming down. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then bringing your right leg back, the toes on the ground and moving your right leg a bit with your right heel and you can stretch out your left toes inhale bringing up the left arm and the right leg exhale the pelvic floor rolls in while you become round and the right knee is meeting the left elbow and inhale, expanding. And exhale. And you do that in your own pace, feeling the silence in which you're moving your body. Um dann auch dein Bein und deinen Arm wieder am Boden zu platzieren. Die rechte Hand wurzeln dein Becken über die Beine. And then bringing back your leg and your hand on the ground and allowing the spine to melt down over the arms, over the hands, over the legs to the floor. Inhale, and with the exhalation from the diaphragm, open your left arm into the sky. Inhale here, exhale, moving your spine so the left hand can go under your right hand, the left arm down to the floor. Inhale, becoming heavy, allowing the pelvic to 
float down through the legs to the ground and with the exhalation bringing up your left arm inhale up here and exhale one more time bringing the left arm under your right hand and then bringing the left hand back to the ground and the invitation is to take one or two cushions and to put them between your legs you open your legs so the feet are together and i don't carry cushions in my backpack so i take my jacket and then lay down maybe even like two cushions so you get the sands off you don't have to carry it all alone you don't have to hold it all alone maybe bringing your forehead on your pillow maybe your cheek and feeling the breath moving your body feeling the space below you like the space behind the earth under you on the other side of the earth and feeling the space around you and with the space and of course you're absolutely invited to stay here as long as you want with the inner space you move your body through the outer space and lay down on your belly and stretch out your arms and legs without pulling at them without stretching them actually keeping your forehead on the ground inhale feeling the body expanding in the space around with the exhalation you tense your muscles in your buttocks and from there raising up the back the arms and the legs and the head laying down again inhale feeling the body expanding exhale you squeeze in the muscles in your bottom and from there it's pulling in the muscles of your legs the back the arms and the head uh, rising up and laying down again inhale expanding exhale you start lifting your body body from your buttocks coming all up and down one more time inhale expanding exhale the bottom is inviting the legs the back the arms and the head to rise up the forehead is parallel to the ground here and coming down again placing your head and your arms however you want to put them now and moving your lower legs a bit feeling the connection between your feet your knees your spine and the space around and your breath and from there keeping your legs long the hands under your shoulders forehead on the ground and you can imagine there's a scarf under your pelvis and somebody is pulling the scarf up so it's really light to come up and sitting on your heels again you can open your knees and walk your hands forward a bit inhale straightening your spine keeping the head up a bit and exhale moving down and inhale the pelvis is inviting the spine to elongate head is lifting up and exhale coming down inhale feel the movement in your sitting bones 
They're rising back. The spine is elongating. And exhale, coming down. So from here, you can walk your hands in. And sit with your legs wide apart. And you're so invited to lean against a wall here. Like often in yoga, we think we can't do that, but yes, you can actually. Hmm. So maybe leaning against the wall, maybe sitting on a cushion. And if I say cushion, I mean like one or two centimeters high. And what about starting to move your body from your sitting bones? So what happens to your body if you move the left sitting bone into the ground? Where's the upper body going? So again, this is a time for you where you can just explore your own movement. So sensing into the sitting bones, you can also like circle them on the floor. What I do is like I drop down one sitting bone into the ground and explore what's happening to my upper back. And these movements where we are kind of left alone a bit with our body, with our impulses are not so easy because we are so used to do whatever we are told. And what about taking this opportunity now to really tune in? So one way to move your body could be tuning into your sitting bones and moving from there. And maybe at some points the arms are joining in the movement. You could also start moving your tailbone forward and backward, backward or making circles here with the tailbone and see where this is leading you. And maybe you feel the arms are getting light and lifting up. So it's time for your own exploration. This is how we come into a deep, like nourishing um, inhabit, inhabitation. So it's how you say it, like living, feeling, being in your pelvis, being in your legs. Another exploration you could do there is to imagine roots, 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 many, many roots entering the ground from your legs, maybe from your fingers. And from this root, if you root down, what happens to your arms? Can they become really light without pulling up here, but just being light? And can one leg be more connected to the ground than the other and invite the upper body to move around? So just see how it's going. I, while you're doing this, while you're staying in your own exploration with your maybe sitting bones, legs, maybe the space between your ribs are leading you. I check again the recording, if it's still recording because it dropped off before, it's just too hot. It's 8.30 in the morning, it's incredible hot here in Turkey. Make sure you get it all this time. Good. Okay. Could be bending from one side to the other, mm, making sounds, sighing. And then you could bring your hands at the inside of your legs and slowly and gently bring your legs together, hug your knees, make yourself really round and small. And long and wide and open. And you can do that one more time and just feel the difference of sinking in and 
going inside, staying close to yourself. And of raising up, opening your eyes, maybe looking around you. So you're here with your inner world in this outer world. And from there, bring your feet a bit forward and the hands back with the fingers pointing towards your feet. And of course, you're always invited to do it differently. And what about bringing your whole awareness into your feet? Imagine a golden ball in your feet. It's really like nourishing this ball. It's really like mm, juicy, yummy in your feet. And from there, a golden light enters down to the earth. And this light is kind of inviting your pelvis to rise up. The knees are sinking down through your calves into your feet, connecting to the golden light down to earth. And you can imagine a golden light below your body and it's moving your body forward and backward. And the head is really carried. Feeling your body moving through space, moving on top of a golden light, if you like the idea. And from there, slowly coming down again and rolling down back on your mat and laying down however you want to lay down. Like take yourself a blanket, a jumper, some socks. If you like, you can roll your body a little bit more on the earth here before you will come to the final relaxation. So either already putting clothes on, getting ready and just lay down or rolling your body a little bit more. If you roll your body, you can imagine rolling it from your legs so the left leg is kind of inviting the whole body to roll over and don't worry where your arms are like just let them be free maybe the right leg is inviting the rest of the body to roll over Maybe it's the head who goes from left to right and it's inviting your body for some rolling on the body of the earth. And then when you're ready for it, find a position where you're absolutely comfortable. I pref prefer not to choose, choose a position where you think you should be but rather find a position where your body wants to be in. Keeping yourself war warm and protected, keeping your energy with you. And allowing to drop down, dropping down into the space behind this earth, allowing your feet and your legs and your pelvis to drop down. The lower back, the upper back. The arms the hands the head and resting with your inner space in the outer space Resting in the space between your lungs and your heart.
You can stay here really as long as you like to, really taking your time. And if you want, you can with your inhalation, gently move your fingers, move your toes. With the exhalation, just drop them down again, doing nothing. So it's a micro movement with every inhalation, a micro movement in your fingers, in your toes. With every exhalation, dropping down, release. When you're moving into the transition from laying to sitting to maybe later on standing and I don't tell you to do it now just stay here as long as you can and this just melting your body into the ground melting your body into space and if you'll later on go in the transition into your daily life what can you take with you from this practice? What can you take with you in your life, into your night? So that you go really gently. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I sent you lots and lots of love from Turkey. Yeah, it's almost a bit sad. It's the last video I can record from the Sufi Trail. 801 kilometers. Further will be something new and different. And you can always um, send me your wishes for a video you would like to have recorded. And I see if I can fulfill it. So stay close to your heart. Stay close to yourself. Stay close to what is true for you. Lots of love. Bye-bye.